What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to do a full review of a company that I really love and that is Pam Free Irish Soap. I'm going to talk particularly about their shampoo and conditioner bars, focusing in on the new TLC range. Now, I want to make it clear that this video is not sponsored. All of these opinions are my own. I have been using this brand for the past two and a half, almost three years now. And so I really hope that my opinions will be helpful for you. And before we jump in, if you do like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe for more zero waste and baking focused content. Now, let's get into today's review. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've spoken about Pam Free Irish Soap on a multitude of occasions. You've heard me rave on time and time again about Pam Free Irish Soap. I actually use their shampoo bar and I have loved it since day one. I've been using it for about four months now and I've had no issues whatsoever with the bar. I would highly recommend it and highly endorse the company in general. I use their bars when I go traveling. I use the laundry bar for my zero waste washing detergent and I've also spoken about them in my zero waste bathroom tour. Links to all of those videos will be in the description box below. So with my reviews I love to start off talking a little bit about the company, their methods and their ethos which I think personally as a consumer is as important as the quality of the products that they produce. So Pam Free Irish Soap is a small family run business that is based out of County Clare in Ireland. They started their journey in 1996 seeking alternatives to chemical laden soaps, which so many of us are trying to do nowadays. And so they started creating 100% vegetable based soaps. The production methods that they use are traditional. The soaps are handmade, also stamped with a batch code, a best before date, the name of the soap and the company name. So everything is fully traceable. They use the cold press method, which is a method of making soaps that keeps carbon emissions low. And they say that they use fresh rainwater collected in barrels, which is filtered and incorporated into the soaps. The ingredients used are 100% natural, they are 100% vegan, and they are certified vegan, which we love to see. They are called palm free Irish soap. So as you would expect, there is no palm oil in any of their soaps. They're SLS, paraben and silicone free. Palm Free Irish Soap also adheres to the Health Products Regulatory Authority regulations. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially the Irish state agency whose role it is to protect and enhance public and animal health by regulating medicines. So these soaps are also regulated by an Irish government body. So I suppose besides being vegan, the ingredients list will vary depending on what bar of soap you buy, as you would expect. But what I really appreciate is that all of the ingredients are listed fully on the website if you do decide to purchase online. So I really appreciate that that information is out there. It's transparent. We can see exactly what is in each bar. I have extremely sensitive skin and I have never had a reaction to any product of the companies, but as always, it's recommended that if you're going to try this for yourself, do a patch test in a small inconspicuous area about 24 hours before you want to use the product just to make sure that in the random event you are allergic to anything, you can spot that before you go full force and use the products. And on the product range, I should just say that although I am reviewing the shampoo and conditioner bars today, the range is incredibly extensive. You have baby shampoo, you have laundry bars, you have deodorant bars, there are upcycled essential oil candles, you have razors, you have compostable soap holders, shaving bars, dog shampoo, there really is a product there to suit absolutely everybody. So keep them in mind for any occasions that are coming up, they're always a winner. So I suppose moving on to the specific products then, today I wanted to talk about the TLC shampoo bar and conditioner. So if I just open this up really quickly, the scent, oh my God, the scent is absolutely gorgeous. It's so subtle, but it smells like a really expensive spa day. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It's subtle luxury. And the scent is actually officially bergamot and lavender. So it is very luxurious. And this is a shampoo bar for normal, dry and colored treated hair. So I should just say that my experience with this bar is obviously having longer, 
undyed and untreated hair. So I suppose this is just my experience coming from that perspective. And similarly, if I just open up the conditioner bar here, the scent here is also bergamot and lavender. So you can see that the conditioner bar is just ever so slightly smaller than the shampoo bar. I leave the weights in the description box below. Price for the TLC shampoo is starting off at $7.95 and the price for the conditioner is also starting off at €7.95. But I think it's quite difficult to give a genuine comparison on price with a traditional bottled plastic shampoo and the reason being you are not getting any plastic with this product. It literally comes in a small cardboard box that you can recycle immediately. We can see here on the packaging that it says it saves up to three plastic bottles of conditioner and of shampoo. And so I know price can be a really important factor for people, but at the end of the day, if you are getting a bar of soap that is this small, doesn't take up any space in your bathroom, works incredibly effectively, and also saves on plastic use, I think it's an absolutely incredibly good price and great value for money. So how long you get out of these bars is going to depend on how often you wash your hair. I wash my hair typically two to three times per week and I can get up to three months out of these bars. But I find that when I use these bars, I get longer between washes. It's one of the amazing benefits that I have found switching to a shampoo bar. But what is really important is that you look after them correctly. If you leave it in the shower in a kind of a moisture laden environment, or if you leave it under running water, it's obviously going to run out faster. I actually use one of Palm Free's compostable soap rests. I take the bars out of the shower when I'm finished and I let them dry out and re-solidify properly. And doing that really helps these bars to last way longer than they would otherwise. If you don't want to buy a soap rest, you could DIY and make your own or just make sure that you're leaving your bar somewhere out of moisture. That will work equally as well. Now I've touched on the packaging really briefly for the TLC bars. So it's obviously a small cardboard box that we can pop into our recycling really, really easily. With the other bars, and I have one here, this is one I haven't tried yet. It's actually the medicated tea tree and neem shampoo. I haven't tried this one before, so I'm very excited to try it, but they actually come only in a small paper bag that is it there is no other packaging associated with this which I absolutely love again it is so simple and so straightforward and again I think it just goes to show that I've been using this brand for almost three years and I haven't tried this soap so there really is such a range you will never get bored and you will always have new products to try so as you can tell my overall experience has been and is incredibly positive with this brand but just touching on the actual effectiveness of the product so I've already mentioned that I get longer between washes in terms of the lather that this shampoo bar gives, it really does work up a fantastic lather using very little of the product itself. Now, this will always depend on the water hardness in your area. So if you live in a city where the water might be a bit harder, you may actually need to use more product or to rinse and repeat if you want to build up that really good lather. But I live in a soft water area and as I said, a small amount of this goes an incredibly long way. It lathers up just like any other commercial traditional shampoo that you are used to using, which I think is really nice if you are making the transition over. I suppose there can be a transition period when you go from using a commercial shampoo to using a shampoo bar. And what I mean by a transition phase is that you might feel like your hair is not particularly clean. It might feel a little bit kind of heavier. And that is because the shampoo bar, because it is made with natural ingredients, is working on your hair in a different way to a commercial shampoo. So when you use the commercial shampoo, it actually coats your hair with synthetic chemicals and polymers and silicones. And they actually stick to your hair and they build up and build up and build up over time. But these shampoo bars work in a different way. They slowly remove all of that buildup so it takes a little bit of time to get to that point where your scalp can freely breathe and your scalp can start producing those natural oils that keep your hair really soft and luscious and supple without the need for those commercial treatments. So the recommendation is to have an apple cider vinegar rinse on hand while your hair is going through that transitional phase. Moving on to the conditioner bar. And I'm not joking when I say this is hands down the best conditioner bar I have ever used and I've used quite a number. You'll know that I am a massive fan of the Ethic range, the Ethic range that you will see stocked in Holland and Barrett. However, since this product has been released, it has topped my number one list every single time. 
it is really luxurious, really luscious. It doesn't drag through the hair like a conditioner bar that you might've used in the past. I've used several of those where you're trying to work it through your hair when it's wet and it is literally pulling strands of your hair out. It is a horrible, painful experience. And thankfully that does not happen with this bar. When it's in the hair, it almost feels like a traditional commercial conditioner, which I think is an amazing achievement. And it genuinely, detangles my hair, which is no mean feat. My hair is quite long, so I definitely need that detangling power. And it doesn't feel like there's any kind of greasy residue left on the hair after you're finished your wash. So you might be wondering where you can actually buy palm-free Irish soap. And what's amazing about this company is that they are so widely stocked, not only in Ireland, but also internationally. So if you scroll through their website, you can actually find a local stockist near you, whether it is through a health food shop or it's through an online stockist. I also love that the company is so socially generous. At the time that I'm filming this video, they are still donating leftover soap to frontline and healthcare providers. And so to kind of finish up and summarize my thoughts really briefly, I genuinely think that this brand is worth your time and worth your money. They are producing products that are high quality, are effective, are kind to the planet and kind to skin. The product range is so extensive, you will find a product to suit every taste. They're affordable, they're vegan, they're plastic free, and they are palm oil free. And I genuinely think that these products are worth your time and money and will do wonders for your hair care. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer them the best I can. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel very soon. Bye.